Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing the JU87 Stuka with a crew of two. We're now over to its dimensions as a length of 11 meters and a wingspan of 13.80 meters. Uh, roll right here, you, you can see it's a dive bomber and the number build was about 6,500. Armaments include two 7.62 millimeter MGs and bombs you can see there. Engine, one engine right here, 1,184 horsepower. It had a maximum speed of 390 kilometers per hour. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kira2 if we are bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the JU-87 Stuka dive bomber. This uh, aircraft here is very famous for its role played in World War II, especially with Nazi Germany. Uh, during that time, it was used in uh, various operations and was pretty much one of the stable uh, elements of the German Blitzkrieg tactic. Um, overall, this uh, aircraft is very iconic, probably I would say one of the most iconic dive bombers from World War II. It uh, also was made very popular with its uh, sound that it would make. Very iconic sound when it would do its diving um, and pretty much its uh, airstrikes. It would uh, have these sirens on the landing wheels, landing gear in the front that would uh, spin and create this really loud noise that uh, has been made popular by Hollywood as the typical sound for a World War II propeller driven aircraft, which is completely untrue. Uh, it was only the Stuka that was uh, that can make that sound, and even without the sirens, um, the uh, siren without the sirens, the Stuka wouldn't even make the sound. So uh, it was just those sirens, and for some reason, they uh, were made popular in Hollywood for being the staple sound for those air for propeller-driven aircraft, which is a bit odd. Uh, but uh, you know, the, Stu the Stuka was iconic for that. Um, whenever you heard that Stuka sound sound off, you definitely knew that you were in a world of hurt, and that you should probably get the hell out of wherever you are. Um, but uh, overall, it's just kind of a cool aircraft, and this right here is designed to be the landed version of the aircraft. Um, so I went ahead and released a tutorial not too long ago about the uh, airborne version. You guys can see that right up there. Uh, if you want to go ahead and see how to build the airborne version, I would recommend you go ahead and click on the cards in the top right, or go ahead and go in the description where there will be a link to it. Or you can go into my World War II playlist or just go to my channel. Uh, plenty of places you can find it, but I would recommend you guys go ahead and check out the airborne version. Uh, as well, because uh, this right here is designed to be the landed version of the Stuka, which would look completely different landed than it would up in, in the air. So again, just be sure to go ahead and check out that one if you want to make the Stuka flying. Um, but if not, you want to make this thing landed at an airbase or something like that, this is the perfect tutorial for you guys. Um, overall, uh, let's go ahead and kind of take a look at the Stuka. Uh, in general, there's, uh, you know, it still resembles our same shape that we have uh, up there. Uh, basically, it's just been angled a bit, and um, overall looks really nice. Uh, you can see... Uh, the front nose up here, angled, the, with where the props would be. They're not perfect um, by all means, but I mean, they you can kind of get what, they, what they're supposed to represent there. With the fence post, the wings are at a very nice slant, um, as they should be. Um, they look really nice. Love the way they came out. Uh, the tail back here, nothing too uh, fancy about that. You can see the whole body here is angled a bit, um, which uh, looks pretty nice. I like the way it looks. And then also, uh, you know, the wing over here on this side, pretty much the same thing, but overall it's your same Stuka uh, dive bomber, just with a few modifications to it to uh, pretty much make it slanted. Um, but anyways, this is a new kind of thing I'm trying out with my aircraft uh, whenever I do an aircraft tutorial, especially the World War II ones or the World War One ones. I'm going to try to release a tutorial for the landed version of it so that you guys can uh, have it flying in the air and also have the accurate uh, version of it landed instead of just, uh, you know, having it... So I'm sitting there flat because realistically, as I've seen with many Minecraft tutorials that do World War II aircraft, they have it sitting completely flat when it's landed. That is completely false, um, how they would actually be positioned. So I want to go ahead and kind of right those wrongs and uh, actually do a proper uh, plane tutorial for you guys and kind of show you guys how to properly have your aircraft displayed at your base. Uh, anyways, that's going to pretty much do it for this. If you guys want to see more of uh, these kind of landed aircraft, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Other than that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer here, we have layer 1. Now for layer 1, we're going to be going ahead and pretty much starting off with a simple wheelbase that we're going to go ahead and basically set up the outline of where this uh, thing will actually kind of be sitting. It will kind of help you guys as well when, uh, when putting these down in a certain position. Now, uh, where you want this aircraft placed, you're going to go ahead and find uh, the point that you want, uh, basically the very midline of the aircraft to be centered with. So if you have some kind of like runway or something this is going to be sitting on, uh, the very center of the runway you want to be placed in, you want to find your very center point. 
or uh, whatever you want this thing to be placed. Just know this is going to be the very center where we're going to place this block. So we're just going to place down a, a placeholder block. I'm just using orange wool. Uh, you can place down whatever. You can just do this by hand. You don't have to put down any blocks. So you can just kind of count in your head. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this like this so that it's a little bit easier to show. Now, uh, from this uh, block that's in the center here, we're going to go ahead and go out one, two, and three to the sides. And then we're going to place down another placeholder block like this. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side. Now coming off this uh, block, we're going to place down a nether brick upstairs stair, followed by one on the back of it, like so. So you can see here, we have these two nether brick stairs back to back to form the front wheels, with a uh, space of seven in between it that goes across, just like that. Once you guys have that done, you're going to go ahead and go from the very center. So we have our center block right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to the very center between these two nether brick stairs, so your two uh, uh, upside down ones right here. We're going to go ahead and go back from this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And on your thirteenth block back, we're gonna go ahead and place down a block of coal. And we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone button on your side of that block of coal. So again, it's a space of twelve from this block right here to this one right here. As you can see, just like this for the very center line. And that wheel marks the very center of the aircraft. So again, it kind of shows you guys um, how this aircraft will be kind of positioned. And once you have that all finished, we can go ahead and delete the placeholder blocks we've placed down already. And uh, that right there is going to go ahead and do it for layer one. And with that, we can move on to layer two. All right, guys. So moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. Now, in case you guys didn't already realize, um, like I do with a lot of my tutorials, which are a little bit more difficult, I like to do half off camera and half on. So as you guys will see, I'll have the left side of the aircraft done before we start each layer. And also the very center line of the aircraft. And then I'll show you guys how to do the center line and then the right side of the aircraft. And then it's up to you guys to take that design on the right side and flip it over to the left in case you're new to my tutorials. Uh, if not, then you guys should uh, be very familiar with this format and be able to go ahead and get started. Now, uh, basically what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start by going to our nether brick uh, stairs here. We're going to place down a uh, quartz block, or quartz stair, sorry, on this uh, upside down stair here in the front. Followed by two quartz full, or a quartz full block, and then a uh, quartz stair on the back of that four full block. Just like that to kind of create something that looks like this for the side of the wheel. Now coming off of that, we're going to go ahead and grab our iron trap doors. We're going to place down one, and we're going to go ahead and crouch. Place down two and then three like that. So you have three iron trap doors coming off that quartz stair. We then want to go ahead and bypass everything else. We're going to go ahead and come back here to this wheel. We're going to place down an upside down quartz stair on top of this block of coal, followed by a button, or sorry, not a button, a lever on the back of the stair. Then coming off the stair toward the rear of the aircraft, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, followed by an a iron trap door just like down the very end to create something that kind of looks like that. And if we go ahead and take a look at here at the sides, or at the side of it, you can kind of see what this would look like. And also from above, um, something just like that. You guys can kind of see the shape there. Overall, very simple, nothing too crazy. And that's going to be it for layer two. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer three. All right, guys. So moving on to our next layer here, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer uh, three. Now, for layer three, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start by going to uh, this quartz uh, full block on these uh, wheels here on your side. Now, for this, we're just going to place down one and two cobblestone walls on top of the quartz full block and then this, the uh, quartz stair like that. Come off this cobblestone uh, wall, we're going to place down a nether break top stab, followed by a wither skeleton skull on either side to make these uh, sirens. If you guys don't want to put the sirens on, no problem, just go ahead and remove the wither skeleton skulls and the top stabs, and you guys will be perfectly fine to go. But uh, I do recommend having them because it's kind of an iconic staple of the Stuka. Anyways, going ahead and continuing on, after this uh, cobblestone wall here, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz full block, followed by a second one, and then a third one. Like this, you can see they're all on top of these iron trap doors. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, oak wood stair after that row of three of quartz full blocks. All right, so once you guys have that all done right there, we're going to go ahead and go to the next row here to the side. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz top slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three along those quartz uh, those quartz full blocks. We're then going to place down a oak wood top slab coming off of this one, kind of in line with this oak wood stair. Once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors and along these three quartz top slabs, we're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors. We then want to go ahead and start off at the same point here and place down one, two, three, four, and five quartz uh, iron trap, or sorry, uh, five iron trap doors. And in this very center row, we're also going to place down a row of five as well. So if we go ahead and look at it from above, we should have something that kind of looks like this so far. Now with that out of the way, we can go ahead and go to the sides here. And on the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of quartz top steps along these three quartz full blocks. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, wooden trap doors. We're going to place down one like this. I'm um, coming off this row of three. We want to go ahead and place down a second row of three. Going back, followed by another wooden trap door. We then want to go ahead and go off of these three, 
uh, of course, top stabs and place down uh, at row three there of uh, fire trap doors like that. So if we go ahead and look at this from above, we should have something that looks just like this for the shape of the uh, wings so far, uh, just like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for there. Now what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and go into our inventory, just grab ourselves a place or a block. We're going to go ahead and place down, uh, we're going to go ahead and skip basically two spaces from the center iron trap door. So we have one and two, uh, we're just going to leave those spaces blank and just going to go ahead and continue back to this uh, rear section here. Now after this, uh, these two blocks here, you can see I have placeholder blocks, you're going to leave those open. We're going to place down a nether brick top slab, followed by a sandstone top slab, a dark oak wood top slab, followed by a total of five green stain clay blocks back from that dark oak with top slab. Now, uh, it should basically kind of fill up the top here of this, uh, the wheel here and kind of connect it to the uh, body. And we also should have our one green stain clay block sticking past this iron trap door on the bottom here. And we can also delete these placer blocks as we do not need them anymore. Those were just to show uh, exactly where we're going to be placing stuff. And we also want to go ahead and go to this uh, second green stain clay block, place down a dark oak wood stair on either side of it. We also want to go ahead and go to this uh, green stain clay block here, place down a stone button. And then uh, next to this green stain clay block, we're going to place down a sign, just like that. So you can see a stone button right here, a sign, and then this kind of like a similar thing over here on this side as well. And uh, once you guys have uh, that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, layer 3. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 4. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer here, we have layer number 4. Now for layer 4, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by uh, going to our center row. Now in the previous layer, as you guys will recall, we placed down a row of 5 of iron trap doors on the very center here. We're going to go ahead and start off by building off this uh, first iron trap door that's uh, up in the front here. So uh, it'll be this one right up here. As you guys can kind of see, you're going to have this iron trap door right here. We're going to go ahead and build it on top of that. Now on top of the iron trap door, we're going to place down a block of quartz. And then we want to go ahead and place down a... Uh, second block of quartz coming off of it so you have one and two just like this it's going to stick out one past these iron this iron trap doors and kind of like the row here for this wing now uh, from this second uh, quartz uh, full block we're going to place down a quartz top slab followed by another quartz full block and then a quartz half slab right here so a half slab quartz full block top slab and then two quartz full blocks just like that and this should stick out past these iron trap doors one two three and four blocks just like that and this is going to be the front air intake now going uh, toward the rear of the aircraft now from this uh, this uh, quartz full block we're going to place down a total of four green stain clay blocks going back. We then want to go ahead and place down a total of two quartz full blocks followed by a black stain clay block and this should be on top of the narrow brick top step so make sure that it's lining up right. We then want to place down a quartz full block on top of this uh, sandstone top step and then we're also going to go ahead and place down a sandstone full block on top of this dark oak with top step. Going ahead and continuing on we're going to place down a total of four or sorry my bad five green stink wave full blocks and it should basically be on top of this five these five uh, green stink wave blocks just like that and once you guys have that all done we're going to go ahead and go from this dark oak wood stair we're going to go ahead and go out like this kind of like that at an angle you're going to see that kind of angle start to be created there and we also want to take our wooden trap doors and go into the third uh, green stink wave block in this row of five we're going to go ahead and crouch and place down a total of five uh, wooden trap doors going out like that to the side um, also on the tail here, we're going to place down a stone button above this one right here. And then also, we're going to grab ourselves a sign and place down a sign on top on, on the side here of this green snake weight block as well. Now, going ahead and building up uh, this row that runs right alongside the center row. As you guys can see, this whole row is the center. We're going to go ahead and basically build up the line next to it. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to this green snake weight block. We're going to place down a stone button here for a bit of detailing. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, another brick half step right here next to this quartz... Uh, full block just like that we're also going to place down a narrow brick half step next to this black stain clay block and grabbing ourselves a narrow brick stair we're going to place down one next to this quartz block on the other side so again what we're doing on the one side here we're going to copy over to the other side now after you guys have that done we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz full block after this uh, narrow brick uh, stair here we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a green stain clay and we're just going to place down a row of one two three four green stain clay blocks we're going to grab ourselves some quartz full blocks, place down a quartz full block like this, followed by a quartz top slab coming off that quartz full block. We then want to grab ourselves an iron trap door, place down an iron trap door coming off that quartz top slab, and then we're just going to place down uh, one and two quartz top slabs coming off that iron trap door like that to kind of round off the air intake. So basically, uh, you should have something that kind of looks like uh, this so far for the aircraft. Now, uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and go to our next row over on the sides. 
So starting at this iron trap door, we're going to go ahead and crouch in the air, place down an iron trap door like that. Um, we want to go ahead and after that iron trap door, we're going to place down a uh, quartz half slab, followed by a quartz full block, just like that on top of the iron trap door. This time we're going to go ahead and go back from this quartz full block, one, two, and three, green stained clay blocks, and then we're going to follow it up by placing down a oak wood half slab, like so, going back. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go back up here to the front to where this uh, iron trap door is. We're going to go ahead and place down a uh, quartz top slab coming off of it. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a quartz stair. And we're going to place down an upside down stair coming off of this half slab and in this space right here. So an upside down quartz stair like that. On the back of this quartz stair, we're going to place down a quartz uh, full block. And um, actually, my bad. We're actually going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair, uh, which will face this direction like so. And after you have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood half sabs. We're going to go ahead and go one and two back from this dark oak wood stair. And then we're going to grab ourselves um, a wooden trap door and place it down on top of this oak wood uh, top sab. Go ahead and go into the next row over. Uh, for this, we're going, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, our quartz full block. I believe they're uh, full blocks. Uh, actually, sorry, a quartz upside down stair. Place it down next to this quartz top sab. And then a quartz full block after that stair, like so. Now next to this stair right here, we're going to place down another dark oak wood stair. So we create a corner stair with the one we placed in the place previously. And then you have the dark oak wood stair that comes out to the side like that. And then we're just going to place down one dark oak wood half slab coming off of it like so. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some green carpet. And on top of this quartz top slab we placed in the previous layer, actually the quartz full block, we're going to place down a green carpet like that. For the next row here, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, top slab again, place down one uh, top slab like that. And um, actually we're going to go ahead and place down... Uh, two top slabs back. Um, actually, we're going to place down a top slab and then an upside down uh, quartz stair, just like that going back. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a dark oak wood half slab, and then a narrow green carpet on top of that quartz um, top slab. Uh, for your next row over here, we're going to go ahead and do pretty much the same thing. So a quartz top slab, a quartz upside down stair, and a dark oak wood stair like this, a dark oak wood half slab, and then a green carpet like so, going back. Now on this uh, row right here of uh, quartz top steps, and the st we have the quartz top seven and the stair, we're gonna place down an end rock that comes off of it that's gonna be re representative of the 7.62 millimeter uh, MGs that would be on the wings. So uh, just in case you guys are wondering what exactly that is uh, supposed to represent. And uh, once you have that in place, we're gonna go ahead and go next to these uh, blocks right here. We're gonna place down two iron trap doors just like that. Now with that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair coming off this iron trap door and we're going to follow it up by placing down one and two dark oak wood half slabs going back. After this second dark oak wood half slab, we're going to place down an iron, or sorry, a wooden trap door just like that. Alright guys, for the uh, next row here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a narrow brick top slab that comes off of this uh, dark oak wood uh, stair right there. We then want to place down a quartz half slab like this and then we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door coming off that quartz half slab. For your next row here, we're going to go ahead and place down another brick top slab coming off the one we placed in the previous row. We then want to place down a half slab of another brick right next to this quartz half slab. And then we're going to place down a oak wood half slab coming off that another brick half slab just like that. Going ahead and continuing on, uh, coming off of this another brick half slab here, we're going to place down a quartz top slab like that. Followed by a oak wood uh, top slab coming off of that. And then coming off of this uh, quartz uh, um, of course, half slab, we're going to place down a wooden trap door just like that for the wings. So if we go ahead and take a look at it from above, it looks very uh, derpy at the moment, but uh, that's what we should have so far for uh, layer 4. Kind of co a complex layer, a lot of stuff going on with that. But anyways, that right there is going to pretty much do it for layer 4. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 5. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 5. Now for layer 5, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to the very front up here. And we have this area and take that we made, went ahead and made in the previous layer. Now to build upon that, we're going to go ahead and place down a green stinkway block on top of this quartz top slab, or half slab, sorry, in the very front. Then we're going to place down one more green stinkway block that comes out past it, just like that for the front. So it's going to, we're going to have one green stinkway block that sticks out toward the front. Now currently you have these two green stinkway blocks. After this first one that we have right here, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four green stinkway blocks back. So basically you have a total of six that sticks out one past this air intake in the front here. Uh, if you guys want to have a little bit of space for the interior, uh, we're going to go ahead and leave ourselves a space of four right here. Uh, you guys can go ahead and fill it in with green stinkway if you choose to, but just note that this is going to be a space of four right here. 
Now, on top of this, uh, Quartz full block, so this first one kind of on the, on the side here, we're going to place down a green Snake Blade block on top of it. We then want to place down a Quartz full block on top of this cold Quartz full block here. We're then going to place down a Narrow Brick half stab on top of the Black Snake Blade block, and then a Quartz half stab on top of this Quartz full block. On top of this, uh, this um, Sandstone block, we're going to place down a green carpet, followed by a Dark Oak with half stab, then a green Snake Blade block, a Black Snake Blade block, and then two green stink wave blocks going back like so. Now to build off of this for the rear here for the tail, we're gonna go ahead and go to this green stink wave block here, this first one. We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak with half stabs, and we're just gonna go ahead and go out one, two, three, four, and five, like that, so it's equal with the length of the wooden trap doors that we did in the previous layer. We also uh, wanna go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button and place down a stone button on this uh, black wool block on the other side. On this green stink wave block here, we're gonna place down a stone button. And continuing the pattern of going up like this, we're going to go ahead and place down a sign uh, on top or on the side here of this green stain clay block. Now, uh, going ahead and going back up to the front, we're going to go ahead and build off to our sides now. So for this, uh, starting off in the front here, on the side of this green stain clay block, on your side, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak with top stab. After you go ahead and do that, we're going to place down two, or uh, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten green stain clay blocks back just like that. Now, after your 10th uh, green stink wave block, we're going to go ahead and go back up here to the front. And we just want to go ahead and take our uh, take our dark liquid uh, fence post here. And we're just going to go ahead and place our dark liquid fence gates. And we're just going to place down two fence gates opened up like that. So they look like they, get, look like they connect up to the green stink wave blocks. Going back here, uh, you pretty much have this all finished off. Um, this is all good to go. We're completely done with the back here. And um, all that stuff. So uh, going ahead and now focusing our attention to the wings. Now, what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to take our green carpet and uh, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak with half stabs. Now, after these uh, one, uh, uh, fence gates right here, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and uh, yeah, three of these uh, dark oak with half stabs. Then, on top of these, uh, basically these eight quartz um, blocks right here, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight of these green carpets just like that. On top of these two iron trap doors, we're going to place down two dark liquid half stabs that go across like that. We then want to grab ourselves some quartz half stabs and also uh, some uh, nether brick half stabs. Come off of this uh, this uh, dark liquid uh, top stab here. We're going to go ahead and place down a uh, quartz half stab like this, followed by another brick half stab like that. We then want to go ahead and take our nether brick uh, half stab here, or top stab. We're going to place down a top stab that comes off this nether brick. Uh, half stab like that and then come off this narrow brick or the start of this quartz half stab we're gonna place down a uh, quartz half stab like that so you have the quartz top stab and the quartz half stab then going ahead and uh, continuing on to the side here uh, we just want to go ahead and uh, actually take this half stab and we're actually gonna switch that over to another brick half stab so you can sure get something that kind of looks like that then uh, we're gonna place down a quartz uh, top stab that comes off the top stab here and come off the narrow brick half stab a quartz half stab like that now, with that finished, we then want to go ahead and do the same thing right here. So, a quartz top stab, and then a uh, quartz half stab, like that. And then this time, we're going to go ahead and place down a oak wood uh, half stab coming off this quartz um, half stab, just like that. Then, uh, coming out to the wing, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some sandstone for this. And uh, for this, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, sandstone uh, block like that. Or, sorry, my bad. A sandstone top stab next to this um, quartz half stab right here. And then we're just going to place down a uh, oak wood half stab coming off this sandstone uh, top stab. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down a sandstone top stab coming off of this sandstone half stab. Like that for the uh, tips there of the wings. And uh, once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, layer 5. The rest of these, the layers are going to get a little bit easier from here on out. So uh, that's always a good thing. But anyways, that's it for uh, layer 5. With that, with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, uh, layer 6. All right guys, so moving on to our next layer here, we have layer uh, number six. Now for layer six, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and start off by uh, taking our green carpet here. And we just wanna go ahead and place down one and two on top of these two quartz top steps, just like that for part of the wing here. Now once you guys have that finished, we then wanna go ahead and take our uh, sandstone half steps, and we're gonna go ahead and place down one and two, come off these uh, two green carpets, just like that out to the side to go and kind of form the wing there which uh, looks something kind of like that. 
And uh, one thing that I also want to go ahead and make a quick adjustment for is uh, we actually want to go ahead and take these two quartz half slabs here. We're actually going to replace them with dark oak wood stairs just like that. And on the bottom of the stairs here, we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors and we're just going to place down iron trap doors on the bottom of the stairs just like that for the wings. And you just want to go and do the same thing over here to this side as well just to kind of go ahead and fix that up like so. And then put down your iron trap doors on the bottom like that. And um, once you have that, you guys are good to go with um, that. Now, uh, going ahead and going to the very center line here, on top of this green stankway block, we're going to place down one. So the very uh, front block right here, we're going to go and place down one on top of it. We're then going to place down a green stankway block that comes off of it going out toward the front, followed by a quartz uh, top slab just like that. Now with that finished, you then want to go ahead and place down one, two, and three green stankway blocks after this one. So you have a total of five that sticks out one past this green stankway block on the previous layer. So just like that for the front. We then want to go ahead and pretty much leave a empty space all in here for that would be pretty much interior space for the cockpit if you guys choose to add it. Then uh, coming back here to this green stankway block, we're going to go ahead and place down a snow brick calf set on top with an end rod that comes off of it for the tail gunner. And then coming back here to the very uh, back of the aircraft, the tail, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green stankway block, followed by three green stankway blocks on the, coming off the back of the stair. Now going ahead and grabbing your buttons and your signs. We're going to place down one more button, just like this, on either side of this green stinkway block here. And then a sign on either side of this green stinkway block, just like that for the rudder. Now once you have that all done, we can go ahead and build up the sides now. Now for this, very simply, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak wood stairs. Place down a dark oak wood stair on either side of the stone brick half slab. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves light gray stained glass. Place down a light gray stained glass block on the back of the stair like this. We're going to leave a space open here to show that the uh, cockpit's opened up since it's landed. Most likely the cockpit would be open for the uh, the uh, pilot and the gunner to get into. So we're going to leave this space open here. We're going to place down a light gray stained glass block, followed by a dark oak wood half slab. And then we're going to place down one, two, and three green stained clay blocks, followed by one and two dark oak wood stairs, followed by a dark oak wood half slab on top of the top slab, just like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, layer 6. And with that, we'll go ahead and probably move on to our last final layers. Uh, we have layers uh, 7, 8, and 9 to go ahead and just put on. And we'll pretty much have the uh, build complete. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, so for our last final layers here, I'm just going to do it all on camera. It's uh, very basic stuff, so we should be able to fly through with pretty much relative ease. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by taking our uh, quartz half slab, which we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, grab from the front here um, see uh, but just this we're just gonna use a uh, quartz half slab place it down on top of this quartz top slab where they're gonna place down one and two green stankway blocks we want to grab ourselves a dark oak wood stair and after this green stankway block here we're gonna place down a dark oak wood stair followed by uh, one and two dark oak wood half slabs going back like that once you have that done we're gonna place down a light gray stained glass block and on either side of the light gray stained glass full block we're gonna place down a glass pane like that Going back from this glass pane, on either side, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass full block to kind of make the front there of the cockpit. Now, on top of this uh, cockpit over here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone half slab, just like that, over this empty space right here. And this can be for the very front here, where the driver would be seated. Then, uh, we have uh, this space right here, over the space between these two, uh, these two uh, glass blocks here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, with a uh, dark oak wood fence post on top of it. Then, uh, between these two um, light gray stained glass blocks, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves stone, a stone half slab and place it down across uh, the space in between them, just like that on the top there to go ahead and kind of fill that space in to make the cockpit. Now, with that finished, we then want to go ahead and go back here to the tail. On these first two green stainquay blocks, we're just going to place down two dark oak half slabs on top of them like so. Now, with that finished, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and place down some iron bars. So for this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down uh, some placeholder blocks that basically extend to this uh, this far. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six iron bars that go across like that. Then we're going to go ahead and go up a level, just like this, and we're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron bars across the top like this. So you can kind of see that they're angled here, kind of going down and um, back like this. So something kind of like that to kind of show that the, uh, the line that runs from the uh, cockpit back to the tail, just like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much uh, finish your uh, layers off. Um, to, you know, pretty much uh, finish off the main design for the aircraft. 
with that, we'll go ahead and move on to putting the propellers on, which is a very simple design. And then we'll pretty much be done with this Duka in its landed uh, state. All right, guys, so going ahead and putting the propellers on, it's a very simple design. We should be able to fly through it uh, real easily. Now, going ahead and starting off with, on top of this quartz uh, half sab here, we're going to place down one, two, and uh, two of these dark oak wood fence posts going up like that. We then want to go ahead and go from this half sab here, we're going to place down one dark oak wood half or fence gate that kind of goes in like this to kind of create a little bit of an angle. Now, going ahead and going down here, come off of this uh quartz half sab here or quartz top sab i should say we're gonna place down a dark oak fence gate like down the ears side once you get that done coming off this uh fence post and down at an angle we're gonna place down a dark oak with um dark oak with fence post that kind of comes down like that and then and at an angle as i kind of uh, told you guys and we're just gonna do the same thing over here just like that going down now with that done we're gonna go ahead and go to this fence post here we're gonna go ahead and go down and at an angle and pretty much do the same thing just like that and make sure you don't break anything and uh same thing over here just like that going down at an angle so you should get something that kind of looks like this for the propellers very simple design i know but it uh, kind of works and it does does what we need it to and uh that's pretty much uh all we can really ask for anyways guys that's gonna pretty much do it for the tutorial of the gen 87 stuka and its landed state um a very cool design if you ask me and would definitely uh, make this aircraft look really awesome on some kind of airfield or something like that uh, again, if you guys haven't already, be sure to go ahead and check out my uh, in-flight version of the uh, Stuka, which you guys can go ahead and find uh, linked throughout this uh, video and all that fun stuff. So be sure to check it out and maybe some of my other World War II builds if you guys are interested. Other than that, guys, if you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This be anything from a sound of the build to a link to my channel or this video. If there's any social media sites, just be sure to give proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to produce these um, tutorials. And then that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Great 204, and I'll see you guys next time.